Hello and welcome to Abacus. We're excited that you've decided to use Abacus to manage your company's expenses. To help you get started, we wanted to quickly show you around the dashboard so you know where everything is. As an admin, whenever you log into Abacus, you'll find yourself on the admin dashboard. By toggling back and forth between admin and personal views, you can see that the left-hand sidebar changes. We'll start with the admin dashboard, also called your inbox, since this will be your hub for approving expenses and creating dynamic reports. Expenses that are awaiting your approval will show up in the expense inbox. Expenses that are awaiting manager approval will appear in pending. All admin approved and denied expenses are archived in completed expenses. These sections are followed by any dynamic reports you have created from a saved search. Now let's explore the expense inbox. To create a custom workflow for reviewing and approving expenses in your inbox, you can use the filter tool at the top of the page. Choose specific criteria to dynamically group together similar expenses for faster reviewing and approving. Be sure to save your search so that new expenses meeting your criteria are automatically added. You can also export your filtered searches as PDF or CSVs. If your company uses corporate cards, meaning cards paid by the company, you can use the Team Cards page to assign and manage your program. This dashboard gives visibility into all activity on all assigned corporate cards and allows you to see how many items have yet to be expensed. The People page is where you manage your team. Here, you can invite new members, organize members into groups, change their permissions, and deactivate an account if you no longer want an employee to submit expenses. Below the People page is the Expense Policy page. This is where you can build custom warning and blocking rules to enforce your company policy. You can also create detailed auto-approval rules for things like recurring expenses. Now let's head over to Settings. You'll see that as an admin, you'll have access to both your personal and company settings in one place. Here, you'll be able to change basic account settings such as mailing addresses and tax IDs, connect a company bank account to issue reimbursements, view your company's bank transfer history, map your accounting categories through your accounting software sync, create custom fields for expenses, and manage other integrations. Other users will be able to add a bank account to receive reimbursements, edit their email and password, adjust notification settings, and view their personal bank transfer history. Next, we'll switch to the personal page. You'll notice that the navigation on the left-hand sidebar has changed. It's now specific to your personal Abacus account. Your personal page is where you can submit a new expense, see the status of submitted expenses, and see your own expense history. Your receipts bin contains any forwarded or stored receipts for you to add to future expenses. The cards page contains any personal or corporate credit cards you have linked to Abacus. Suggested expenses uses data from your receipt information and card feed to compile a list of expenses we think are ready to be submitted. Abacus is also available on Android and iOS, so you can capture expenses on the go. This completes our introductory tour of Abacus. If you have any questions, please email us at hi at or find us on abacus.com for live chat.